November 7. Jason, thanks for your work on that story tonight. Hard to forget this video of the deadly house explosion in Firestone. And now here we are nearly two months later. Finally, some good news. Two new methane pockets that were found after the explosion appear no longer to be an issue. Denver 7's Jennifer Kovaleski with the latest from the Oak Meadows neighborhood. Neighbors are breathing a sigh of relief and hoping this means they can finally heal. COGCC says the largest methane pocket where I'm standing right now has been properly vented. But neighbors didn't get that update from the state or Anadarko. You know, it's made us feel uncertain that our homes are safe, and that's not a feeling anybody wants to have, especially when you have kids. For weeks now, this mother of three has been constantly reminded of this giant methane pocket right behind her fence. Right behind her house, there's definitely mitigation fans going, and you can see where the Martinez house was right from here. We first introduced you to Linnea Burson days after she learned about the new gas pocket and weeks after this deadly house explosion not far from her house that was caused by a cut gas line from a nearby well. We were also the first to tell her the good news, that these pipes and fans venting out the methane from behind her house appear to have worked. That's pretty much the way it's been. I mean, I don't think we've gotten any news directly from them. COGCC made the announcement far from Firestone during a commissioner's meeting in Meeker on Monday morning. This is audio from the meeting on YouTube. We expect that it would be um, removed effectively with the soil vapor extraction and it appears that it has been. It's been very concerning, so I'm glad that there's nothing found. COGCC says they shut off the vent system last Wednesday, and since then no new gas pockets have come back or been found. Burson now hopes her neighborhood can finally move forward. You know, knowing that it might kind of finally resolve all of this and start we can start healing from what happened. COGCC says they will continue to monitor this area and the other methane pocket just down the street to make sure no new gas shows up. In Firestone, Jennifer Kovaleski, Denver 7. The EPA has given Fort Collins.